Welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and a follow-up video to the video I started. I was fumbling through it and I didn't want you folks to see me fumbling through something and not actually repairing it. So I stopped the video and I deleted it, but I, I think in the end I'm still going to post it because the, the lead-in to the servicing um, is important stuff and I want you to see it. But what I was having a lot of trouble with is lining up this spring with the, there's a hole on the inside of the derailleur body. And um, if you look right here, sir, there is a notch here. So you put the spring, one side of the spring in that notch, right? And the other side of that spring is inside the derailleur body. And it was really hard to get it to, to get in there. And it took a while. And so I stopped the video. But we're going to reuse we're going to use that content. So now we have replaced the plate. And if you look, there is this little tiny stopper there. And if you wanted to, you could remove that with a screwdriver. And that might give you a little bit more play. So you put it here facing this way, and then you have to bring it all the way around, right? So you you line it up with the cage. I'm going to use this as a, as a example. You line it up with the cage all the way over here, and then you put the spring under load, bring it back to here, and then that's that little screw or stopper pin is going to be can you see in there is there enough lighting to get where that little stopper pin is is jamming up against the derailleur body right inside here yeah so you have to put it here bring it bring the spring under tension wrap it all the way around insert that little guy and then bring it back and then you'll be set to go now that was not an option on let's say I have an old uh, 7800 derailleur here and that pin is actually on that cage so you can't you can't take that pin out right but this pin you can so um, and the reason that we replace this is the the derailleur cage was not bouncing back and neither was the B axle assembly but you can't get the B axle assembly anymore. And then just as we took everything apart, that's when we discovered all the corrosion and the pitting corrosion that was going on on this plate here. So that's why we replaced it. Now we'll put the pulleys back on. That's easy stuff. You've seen that before. And then we'll put this back on the bike and the customer is going to be happy because you'll no longer have a derailleur that gets stuck and doesn't spring back. And the reason why he contacted me is his chain was just so slack. And, you know, that's just dangerous, right? So, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you up the road.